Hello guys and welcome! My name is Sorin and today I will answer one of the biggest questions in the DIY community. Can a TP4056 module charge lithium cells with more than one amp? Well, I'm not telling you right now, you need to watch the entire video. Also, you need to like and share this video, otherwise I'm not telling you. This TP4056 charging module is very popular. It's used to charge lithium cells with 1 amp. It also has a programmable resistor. If you change it with the higher value resistor, it will decrease the charging current. This is useful because not all lithium cells can be charged with 1 amp. If you have a battery with a small capacity, it needs a lower charging current. Otherwise, you will damage it. So, here comes the question of the day. If a higher value resistor lowers the charging current, will a lower value resistor increase the charging current? Let's see. There are also these modules with 4 TP4056 ICs, which can charge with maximum 3 amps. But I want to modify this simple module, because I use it a lot in my projects and it's very good. Now I want a higher charging current from it. To modify and test it, I made a simple circuit board according to this schematic. It has two 18650 holders connected in parallel. If I try to charge only one cell with a high current, I will damage it. So it's better to split the charging current into two cells. To discharge the cells after each cycle, I will use two ceramic resistors and a light bulb connected in parallel, which will draw an average current of 1.25 amps. This is also divided by two for each cell. The lithium cells I'm using are recovered from an old laptop battery. First, let's see what real capacity they have left. I tested them with my Opus charger and they have a combined capacity of... Let's round it up to 3 amp hours. The circuit board has simple pin headers to connect the module. The battery voltage and charging current are measured with this volt ammeter, which is powered from a separate charger. I will also connect a PC fan, because the integrated circuit and lithium cells will get hot during the charging process, and the ceramic resistors and light bulb will heat up when I discharge the cells. To power the module, I'm using this 18 watts USB charger and this powerful micro USB cable. Before we begin, I must get rid of any distractions. There is an older video on my Patreon page where I modify a transformer to power four charging modules. So take a look when you have the time. It contains a lot of details about TP4056 modules. I also want to thank all my patrons for their support. The lithium cells must be fully discharged to start the test, so I will just push this button to discharge them. When I discharge the cells, the current flow is backward through the ammeter, so the current measurement is inaccurate. I will just cover it. This module has an over-discharge protection feature. When the cell voltage gets down to almost 2.5 volts, the cell is disconnected from the circuit. Now we can start the charging process. First with the standard 1 amp current. According to the datasheet, when the battery voltage passes 4.1 volts, the charging current is starting to decrease. Here is the same graph made by me, but more colorful to make it easier to understand. The current continues to decrease until it gets down to 10% of the maximum charging current. Then the battery is considered fully charged and the charging process is terminated. It takes 7 hours and 10 minutes to fully charge these old cells with 1 amp. Now I will discharge the cells to prepare them for the next charging cycle. I will remove the R3 resistor and replace it with two wires. This way it will be easier to change the resistors later. I must add a heatsink on the IC because it heats up even with 1 amp. With a higher current it will definitely burn. For my first test I will replace the standard 1.2 kilo ohm resistor with a 970 ohm resistor.
This is the formula for calculating the charging current according to the programmable resistor, so we should have 1.23 amps. Hey, it's working, and it's very close to the calculated value, but I didn't waste all this time for just another 200 milliamps, I want more! So, I connected two resistors in series to make this 900 ohm programmable resistor. Will the integrated circuit blow up? It's fine, and it's charging the cells with 1.4 amps. Actually, the current is rising, this is weird. Is it safe to charge the cells in this way? I need to test the full charging cycle to be sure, but the IC is getting very hot, I must bring the fan closer to the heatsink. The battery voltage reached 4.1 volts, so the charging current started to decrease. After 5 hours and 44 minutes, the charging current decreased to one tenth of the maximum current, and the charging cycle is completed with no problems. Let's prepare the cells for the next test. Eight hundred ohms, and we have one point seven amps. But will it work for a full charging cycle? Yes. Let's go even higher with the charging current. I soldered all these resistors in series to obtain seven hundred ohms. And there it is, 2 amps from a TP4056 module. How much abuse can this IC take until it blows up? The charging stopped at 165 milliamps. Another cycle is completed. Let's see how far we can go with this module. 600 ohms from this contraption of resistors. Will the IC blow up? No, it works, with more than 2 amps. I'm pissed, I wanna see some sparks. But my wish is not fulfilled. The charging is completed at around 200 milliamps. How many more days do I have to waste waiting for the cells to charge and then to discharge until I see some fireworks? Answer, a lot more. This module is very tough, but we finally reached the limit of the integrated circuit. No matter how hard I try to increase the charging current, above 2 amps it's not stable anymore. And it's not the USB charger fault, you can see that it can deliver 3 amps with no problems. Here we have a 400 ohm resistor. This IC refuses to burn, it's more stubborn than Sissy, my black cat. Ok, last test, 220 ohms. Again the current drops fast to 2 amps, but the module still works. Last question, does this module still work normally after all this abuse? Let's test it with a 2 kilo ohm programmable resistor. It works like nothing happened so far. I can feel the IC laughing at me. Even if I modify the programmable resistance while it's charging, it's still working. This charging module is amazing. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I didn't make any fireworks with this IC. If you still enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye! And now to pass the 10 minutes mark, I will show you this white fluff for a few seconds.